Hello, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. In this video, I want to talk to you about lag. I want to clue you in on the truth about lag and how some of the lag training that you may have gone through is actually ruining your consistency, ruining your distance, ruining your ability to improve at the game of golf. Before I get started, I want to welcome all new viewers. Please take some time to go through my entire catalog of videos so you can learn different pieces of the Mike Austin, Mike Dunaway golf swing. If you'd like to learn it faster, there's a link down in the description to where you can sign up on my online course to get started today or go visit me on YourSimpleGolfSwing.com. Okay, let's talk about lag. Now, a lot of you have been taught that you want to incorporate lag into your swing. And what is lag? So lag is the concept of holding on to these wrists as long as you can until you get down here at some point and then release through the ball. And the idea is that this is going to cause a whip effect and it's going to cause you to have incredible distance. Well, I know many of you have tried really hard to work on creating more lag. And what has it done for your game? Honestly, it's caused you inconsistency. It's caused you to have poor ball contact from time to time. The few times that you do get it, it feel, yep, feels great. But more often than not, your timing is off a little bit. Well, why is your timing off? Your timing's off, and I've said this in other videos, because from the top of the swing to impact takes on average about two-fifths of a second. Now, let's stop and think about that. Two-fifths of a second, that's about the blink of an eye. So, you've been spending time trying to teach yourself in this two-fifths of a second to know exactly when to release this lag get that club face square into the ball and have it come down at the right angle of attack in the right spot every time. Good luck with that. It ain't gonna happen. Here's the truth about lag. Mike Austin said lag is golf's greatest lie. What did he mean by that? Well, he didn't believe in trying to hold on to your lag. And why is that? Well, because in the golf swing that we teach, we're swinging back into stress. We're swinging back into tension. And then when we come out of that, we want to get out of that tension and we want to do it quickly. That's going to create the kind of club head speed and the, the mass transfer into the ball, all the forces going in the back of that ball and smashing it as far as we want it to go. Well, you can't do that if you're going to try to impede the natural use of all your body's lever levers. Mike or uh, Jack Nicholas, he he did not believe in maintaining lag. He believed in releasing the club from the top. And he said in his book, Golf My Way, you can look this up. He said it's impossible to release the club too early as long as the body's moving. So, where did this idea of lag come from? Well, it came from the advent of slow motion video. When they were able to slow down the video of a lot of golf greats, they they noticed that when they were down to this point in their swing, they still had what this angle in their wrist. And they were so what they started to surmise was, well, that must be a secret to their distance, the distance. They're holding that angle as long as they can until the last second and then releasing it. And that's how they're getting all their distance. So people started teaching, you know, how to create lag. Well, the fact of the matter is lag is a very natural component of a natural, perfect golf swing. It's not something you have to try to create. What do I mean by that? Well, if you get yourself to the top of the swing, all right, and you have that angle, and you start with your lower body, and everything fires through, even if you were, like we teach in our swing, throwing the club head from the top, the fact of the matter is, everything is happening so fast that your arms are gonna be down about here before you can even notice that you started throwing from way up here. It's an optical illusion. The throwing of the hands has started, but it's, it's trying, this head, okay, is 90 degrees removed from these arms, okay? These arms are coming down very quickly because your body is yanking it through. And that's, this club has a lot of real estate to make up before it's gonna square up at the bottom. So when you look at the swing with slow motion camera, you're gonna see that it looks like somebody is holding that lag all the way down to here. 
but they're not. You can be throwing from up here and still get the illusion that you're holding on to that lag when you're really throwing from the top. So don't try to incorporate lag into your swing. Learn how to perform the perfect swing properly. That lag will naturally be in your swing and it's going to eliminate your timing issues. When we throw from the top with everything we got, but we have started our swing with the lower body, our hands are not going to be able to get this club head to the ball too early. I'm going to get to the top of my swing here and I'm going to throw like that, which I teach. I teach the hand throw in some of my other videos. I teach it in my online course. So it's impossible to get that thing to the ball too quickly. I smashed that. I hit that really well. If I was getting it there too quickly, it would have gone way left, but I didn't. So don't waste your time trying to incorporate lag. Spend your time learning how to perform the perfect swing properly, and the lag will be built into your swing for you. I hope this helps you out. Once again, I recommend that if you want to learn this swing quickly, go down in the description, click on the link for my online course, get started today, come visit me on YourSimpleGolfSwing.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.